Okay, good. And then switching legs, and we're gonna get started. Okay. Okay, one more deep, big deep breath in. And next out. Let's just start with a march. Just moving. If you want a little bit more, you can do a little hop side to side. I just want you to feel your body warming up, feeling light on your toes. Good. Okay, we have 30 seconds here. Good. Keep going. Last 15. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna take a big wide squat. So toes, it be basically if you have a mat, just outside the hips, distance apart, toes are forward. And we're gonna sink down into a squat. So we're gonna take two counts down to sit all the way down and then two counts up. At the top, I want you to squeeze your glutes. Do not lock out your knees. So keep a soft bend in the knee. So we're gonna keep doing that. Just squatting, lifting, yes. Um, um, in, inhale going down or going up? Where's I want the, where, you to, yeah, inhale going down, exhale on the, very good. Thank you. Excellent. This is great. Good. Just keep going down and lift. Good. Everyone looks great. I want you to really engage the core. This is full body work, always using the core. We have about four more. Three. And then I'm going to have you hold that squat. Two. And on this last one, I want you to sit down. And I want you to feel the weight in your heels and just hold small pulse, small pulse. You're going to feel a little bit of burn in your quads. That's the work here. Just doing great. Keep those abs engaged, protecting your back. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one beautiful work everyone very good does everyone feel that work in your legs oh yeah good great next move we're going to step back with our right leg we're going to take a lunge so we're going to step back we're going to lunge and lift now you don't have to go as far as i'm going i just want you it may be it might be like this i'm going to actually show you it might be like this and then come together this would be the full move so you're lunging and lifting okay Again, go at your own pace. Everyone's a little bit different. Every day is a little bit different. I want you to inhale as you go down. Exhale and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs as you come up. Good. Beautiful. Good, everyone. So today, the whole, keep going. The, today, the whole idea, we're going to do a move and then we're gonna hold it. It's that time under tension. And that's where you really feel the work, you feel that heat rising in your muscles, and really where you sculpt your body. We're gonna do two more like this, and we're gonna hold at the bottom. So to protect your knees, make sure your weight is in that front heel and back toe evenly distributed. And you're gonna do a slight pulse. It might look like this. Only go as low as you can in control. Beautiful, everyone. Excellent, we have 10 seconds here. We have four, three, two, and one. Okay, great. Now, we're still gonna burn out that standing leg. I want you to tap your right toe back I want you to lean slightly forward, okay? So it looks like this. Can everyone see that okay? You're leaning slightly forward. Your right toe is back. You pulled your abdominals in, and you're just gonna tap, tap. So you're really burning out that left leg. And tap, tap, tap. 
half. Exhale as you pull in. So you're gonna go. Good, everyone. We're here for about 30 more seconds. Beautiful work. Excellent. Feeling that on that standing leg? Yeah. Yeah, good. We have about 15 seconds left here, and then we're going to reverse it. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Might need to shake out that standing leg. Beautiful. We're going to go to the other side. So you're going to step back with your left for that lunge. So again, remember, weight is in that front heel, back toe and tap, lunge, and tap, lunge, and tap, lunge. Good, keep going just like that, everyone. Don't forget to breathe, good. Excellent. We're gonna do four more, three, two, and on that last one, I want you to hold. Make sure your weight is e evenly distributed, front heel, back toe, and pulse. Feel that burn. Awesome, everyone. Good. Good. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and come on up, excellent. Okay, take a big breath, shoulders are back and down. I want you to tap that left toe behind you, lean slightly forward, extending those arms. So again, looks like this, and you're just gonna tap in and back, in, back. I really want you to feel that lengthening in your upper body. Good, this is up, upper body work as well. This is full body. Good. Good. Excellent. We have 15 seconds. We have four. Three, two, and one. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. Moving on to jumping jacks or just side jacks, side taps. So the arms today are gonna go out and forward. So this is the arm movement. Really doing some lateral and front raises. You can have a jack or you can just side tap, side tap. I want you to do what feels good to you. You can just add those legs when you're ready. Jack it out or just tap it out. Good, you'll feel that cardio either way. You guys look great. Good, make sure you're breathing. Everyone looks awesome. We have 30 seconds left here. Perfect. We're gonna go down to the floor after this. We have 15 seconds. Last eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back of me. We're gonna carefully walk down into our plank position. So full arm plank. You can have options here. You can hold this plank. You can, or, or add the taps. Or you just do side taps, okay? So that's the move. We're gonna hold plank. Really engage the core and, and stabilize your core as you tap out to the side. Go at your tempo, tap, 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 tap. 
Excellent. Take breaks when you need to. We have 30 seconds left here. Good. 15 seconds. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, four, three, two. Now stay on the floor for me. Take a child's pose. All you need to do is listen to me talk. I'll walk you through it. So you're in a child's pose. And then we're going to go into some push ups. Many of you may want to do them from your knees. So you just want to roll a, not on your knee bone, but right above the knee, just where your quad attaches to your knee. So your soft tissue. And we're going to do some push ups. You may go all the way down or you may just go halfway, but we're gonna do some push-ups here. If you have a lot of upper body strength, you may do this on your toes. Here we go, I'll count it out. We're gonna go down for two and lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Now make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and you're really in control. Control is key. Good. Excellent. And lift. Down for two and lift for two. We have a few more. And lift for two. Give me four more. And lift. Down for two and lift. Last one. Down for two and lift okay everyone well done take that child's pose we're going to stay on the floor for some abdominals before we do this all again so i'm going to have you roll down onto your back and what we're going to do here you're going to lift your knees into tabletop so your knees are over your hips your shins are parallel to the floor your hands are behind your head i'm going to go to this side so you can see me so you're holding tabletop just holding it here, you pull your belly button into the mat, gluing your back to the mat, and it's a small lift, just lifting your chest to the floor and down. Lift and down, lift. Exhale at the top, go and down. Beautiful, guys, keep going just like that. You should feel your lower abdominals, the, below the belly button is really the work here. Take your time. This is so good for your core. Good. Excellent. Good. Fantastic. We have about 30 more seconds, so keep going. Little core blaster. We have one more move after this, and we're going to start it all over again. Good. Okay, we have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Now, I want you to extend both legs to the ceiling. Heel, flex your heels, flex your feet. And I want you to drop the right leg to the floor. So you really feel that engagement in your lower belly. And then I want you to switch, drop the left leg and keep switching right and left. Good. Keep that back, glue to the mat. This is how we strengthen our core and protect our back. Very good, everyone. We're here about 40 more seconds. Good. Hope everyone's feeling that core work. Last 15 seconds. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees into your chest. Kind of roll around a little bit. Give yourself a back massage. Slowly. Come on up and make sure you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last. And we are gonna do that all again, but we're gonna go right through. 
right through this time. You did so well. Okay. Good. How does everybody feel? Shishi, how do you feel? Whoa, I've got the sweat going. You got the sweat? Everyone feels yeah. safe and good. Fantastic. Ruth, how are you doing? Really well. Thank you. Great. Okay. So we're going to start again this time. You know what we're doing and we're going to go straight through. So we're going to get that cardio blast and then we'll share some tips. So back to that squat. Okay. Toes are forward. Core is engaged. You don't want to overly tuck under, but just neutral spine. So a slight tuck of the hips to protect the back. And here we go. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Good. The second set is always the refining set. Now you're warmed up, you know what we're doing. Great, keep going just like that. We have four, three. After two, we're holding and let's hold at the bottom. And pulse, pulse. Remember weight is in your heels, pulse. Last time we're doing this, so good. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Right leg back into that lunge. Step back, tap, back, tap. You guys are incredible. Make sure the weight is in that front heel, really in control. I don't want you to go too fast. I want you to go at your pace. We have four more of these, and then we're gonna hold. Three, two, and hold here. And just pulse, remember front, weight is in that front heel. Good, feel that work in the back of your leg. We've got eight, seven, six, five. We have four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Leaning slightly forward, tapping that right toe behind us, lifting out, pulling our core in, and we're just tapping. If this is easy for you, be my guest to go a little faster. Tap, tap. Good, perfect. Make sure you're breathing out as you pull in. Breathe out as you pull in. Good, 20 seconds here. Last 10. We've got four. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Now back with that left for the lunge. You may only be working out with me for 30 minutes, but your metabolism is gonna keep burning the rest of the day. It's so good to get 30 minutes of mild to moderate activity every day. Good. Not to mention for your endorphins. Four more here. Three, two. On this last one, we're going to hold and just pulse. Weight is in that front heel. Really feel that work. You're changing your shape of your muscles right here. So good. Just give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lean slightly forward, tap that left toe behind, extend, pull in your core, and let's tap it out. Tap, tap, good. We are doing so great. Keep breathing here. We have about 30 seconds.
last eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. You well done. Okay, we're gonna go into those jacks. Same arms, lateral, front, lateral, front. And remember, you can always tap it out. I would much rather you do a really good job tapping it out than doing anything that doesn't feel right today. And make sure the arms stay below the shoulders, building strength in your shoulders and back. Good. Good, everyone. We have about 30 more seconds here. And then we're heading down to the floor again. The second round goes so fast. We're 24 minutes into our workout. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's cut big deep breath in. As you exhale out, nice stretch in the hamstrings as you roll into your plank. You can hold here or tap it out. If that's not enough for you, you can always do a plank jack. You can jump it out. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. All 10 fingertips are on the floor. Excellent. 25 seconds here. And then we'll have a child's pose. Good. We have 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back into those heels for a nice child's pose. Really lengthen your arms. Let's get ready for our second round of push-ups. Rolling over the knees onto the soft flesh, just above the knees. And we're gonna do up to tempo this time. So we did two counts down, two counts up last time. This time we're just gonna press down. Exhale as we go up. Down. Okay. Good. Beautiful work. Okay, we have four more, three more, two more, last one. Go ahead and lay all the way back, all the way back. Sitting into your child's pose, and then I want you to roll back over. We're gonna do a second set of those tabletop abs where our knees are over our hips, shins are parallel to the floor, hands behind our head, Keep those elbows wide open. Glue your belly button into the mat and just lift and drop. Exhale at the top, lift and lift and lift and lift. And lift, lift, lift. lift. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and extend the legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet. We're gonna do that straight leg drop, starting with the right. Okay. Yep. Is your head on the floor or is your head yep. lifted? No, I mean, you, you can lift it for a little bit extra. I would rather you have your okay. head on the floor, really glue your back to your mat. And if you want a little bit harder, drop both legs at the same time. That's where we're headed to eventually. I was doing one at a time, but if you can do both, drop both heels to the floor and lift them. That's the work that we're working on, okay? 
Okay. Good. Beautiful work, everyone. We have eight, seven, six, five. We have four, three, two, and one. Squeeze your knees and we are all done. Before we stand up, what I love to do is drop the knees to one side and get a nice, Stretch my lower back. Do it real carefully. And engage your core and go to the other side as well. It's a really nice stretch for your lower back and core. Excellent work. Come back center, hug those knees in. I'd love for you to flip your feet around so that you are on your hands and your toes, ready to roll up with me. Hands on the floor, rounded back. We're gonna press down into the floor with our feet. Feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings, the backs of your legs rolling up one vertebrae at a time together. We're gonna take a big wide second position. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale out. How much better do we feel? We did it. Another big deep breath in and out. Well done, guys. You guys rocked it. You did so well. We're going to keep doing more and more new things. Let me turn my music off. And now I want to share. You're fabulous. You're, you know. Oh, you, so you did so great, everyone. How does everyone feel? Wow. Great. So it was Good a little bit harder than last time. Could we? Did, was that at like a good intensity good. level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. It got, my, it got my heart rate up more. Yeah. Good. That was, I, that I like to always, I always think you can add, but it's hard to take away. And I want people to kind of know what to expect. So I, I have a lot more where that comes, I can tell you. <laughs> so we'll keep building on it. And so I just wanted to share a few things. Um, my team and I have, collected seven immunity tips. And we have sourced this information from um, three sources. Dr. Mark Hyman, I'm sure many of you know Mark Hyman. He is a physician and he believes food is medicine. Aunt Sheila knows him actually, which is cool. Dr. Tanda Cook is a naturopathic physician. She is on the scientific advisory board of my company. And so this is from her as well. And then another a publication called Elemental Medium. I share with you that we have sourced all this information. It's what I teach as well, but I really think it's important to source it from different places. And these seven tips everyone agreed with, I'm gonna share them with you. And then Sheila, I really welcome you to add in anything that you want to as well. The first one, hygiene. We are all washing our hands. Here's one really cool thing. End your shower in a cool spray. That's hydrotherapy and that really stimulates, that increases circulation and detoxification in the body. And you, it's a really great for invigoration. So just that cool spray at the end of a shower. Number two, movement and exercise. We've already done that. 30 to 45 minutes a day of mild to moderate activity. Don't overdo it. I mean, I know at my age, if I overdo it, then I'm out for a few days. Do not overdo it. It's better to be consistent every day and do something and get your heart rate up and you know your muscles and all of that, not overdoing it, but it's definitely great to have that routine. Number three, a good sleep routine. We want seven to eight hours. Something I have worked on is putting my screens away an hour before bed, no TV, really establishing some good rituals of meditation and breathing and reading and quieting my mind. That's super important. So important for your immune system. Number four, good probiotic. You may already have one that you're currently using. It's so key. All of them talked about a good probiotic. 80% of our immune system is in our gut. So we want to make sure, I mean, it's crucial. We want to make sure that you have something to, that benefits the microbiome that lives in your gut. And if you do not have one, 
uh, my company makes a great one. It's a probiotic. It's a prebiotic, probiotic, and digestive enzyme. It comes in a little packet that you can throw in a smoothie or in water and do as a shooter. Just make sure you're taking a good probiotic, whichever it is. Number five, eat a whole nutrient-dense diet. So who has had some sugar cravings during this time? Anyone? <laughs> I think everyone, and I'm actually doing a really cool event next Wednesday at 12 o'clock with my team, and we are teaching some healthy smoothies and healthy sweets. We're doing a really cool sweet and treat class. Would love to have you. We're gonna be sharing recipes, but we wanna, studies have shown that refined sugar can suppress your immune system. You wanna make sure you eat adequate protein. Um, it's critical for immune function, multiple servings of fruits and vegetables. Mark Hyman talks a lot about alkalinizing your body since sugar and high fats are acidic. And when your body's more acidic, it's more receptive to COVID-19. We teach you that you want an alkaline body as well. So everything that I source, that's what we believe in how we coach our clients. So lower sugar, lower fat is going to be helpful for your immune system. Number five. Oh, I'm sorry. That was number five. Number six, vitamins. You want to make sure you have zinc. D3 and vitamin C, super important. If you don't have a good vitamin, I have a good recommendation for one. We have a great whole food vitamin that comes in a little powder. And then also, if you don't have access to as many greens, I have a greens powder as well. And then seven, final tip was drinking plenty of fluids and staying hydrated. You wanna drink half your body weight in water and herbal teas, especially with ginger and turmeric. Um, I have some great things to help with that if you don't have um, we have this great complete hydration product. It's a little packet. It's yummy. It's low in sugar. It has seven electrolytes and it has cayenne pepper and turmeric in it. We have some fizz sticks, things like that. You might have all of these things, so there's no pressure, but just sharing a resource if you need it. I'd love to go around the call and find out the one tip that you heard that you want to focus on because that's really helpful for me. So, you know, let me go to the Morrises. <laughs> Well, I was just complaining this morning that, that uh, I'm eating too much sugar. I, I found these, uh, I found these uh, sugar-coated almonds. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of a, a hard crust, and they yeah. sold by bulk. And I find that it totally satisfies every craving I have, except the one about being low in sugar. Mm. <laughs> so Sorry. it's my uh, master. Good. Well, that's where portion control. We actually, um, something I do, I need portion control. I don't know about you guys. So I have these little fit shoes, they're caramel, and I can have one in it. I have it with my tea or in the middle of the day when I just need a little something. And so you just need to figure out your tricks. So those almonds are great, but make sure you're paying attention to the serving size, I would say. I really liked uh, the little thing at the end of the email that had this link on it about Eat one for uh, the craving, two yeah. to savor, and three to finish. The three, yeah, the three bite rule. Yeah. Those two, three helpings of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took away your, your greens. I think we really need to eat more. Yeah. We like well, greens. We eat a lot of salad and we eat a lot of broccoli and collards and um, but there are other things I think we should be trying to incorporate. So I have it, it's actually downstairs, but it's this little greens balance powder. And I actually throw it in a little like ramekin with my probiotic and I do it as a green shot every single morning. And that gives me my serving of fruits and vegetables and my probiotic all at once. I love it. It's pretty, it's kind of sweet. So it just it's a great way to start the day after I've had my water. So thank you for sharing that. Um, Ruth, how about you? The cool spray at the end of the shower. Yeah. Cool. You'll have to try it and let us know how it goes. It takes a minute to get used to it, yeah. but then you start craving it, especially as we get into warmer months. Thank you, Ruth. You did great today. Okay, Bill. Um, sleep. That's my biggest challenge. <clears throat> you have a hard time winding down? Well, I've never been a long time sleeper for my whole life, you know, so I'm Five or six hours seems to do well for me, and now maybe a nap in the afternoon. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a late night and used to be an early morning person. Yeah. So, so anyway, just getting a better sleep habit. Okay. You know, that we have. I like tea before bed. I always drink my detox tea before bed, and it's just a habit that I've gotten into. It really helps calm my mind. And I definitely do not watch the news before bed. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, Elle, how about you? 
I think the same thing for me at sleep and get my routine is off right now. So I think reducing screen time in the evening is a good tip. Yeah. Sheila, so. why don't you finish us off and please add in anything that I didn't or anything you want to say. Um, well, I feel so glad that, you know, we already worked out today. It's beautiful. Yeah. Check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Big check. And because we don't have schedules right now, I think it's really important to have like rituals and schedules. And a lot of the things that you uh, mentioned are things that we can do for ourselves that are, can be part of our schedule. So um, for me, um, fluids uh, has to be part of the schedule. If I don't drink, not only do I feel sluggish and headachy, um, but uh, more hungry. So um, you mentioned that fizz thing, and I do, I've been doing that for years. I love the fizz. And now the thought of just doing a little shot with the, um, I love those fizzes. Yeah. They give me energy, actually. But, I, um, but now the, the idea of doing the hydration, I didn't know that it had ginger in it. So that's cool. It's um, turmeric. Turmeric. I thought turmeric and ginger or just turmeric? Turmeric and cayenne pepper, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, the hot cold thing, that is such an old time naturopathic thing. Yeah. Um, hydrotherapy. So what, what you do is you, you start the shower, do your shower, put it up really hot. And so move your body, rotate around the shower so that you really see red. And then you just, not a cool spray, you go cold, take some deep breaths, and even warn your family, I'm going to be loud in the shower and go, ah, 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 because it gets breathing going, you know, it gets oxygen yeah. to you. And then what happens is, is your body becomes quite invigorated mm -hmm. and brings um, blood, it, it increases blood flow to the surface. Right. So it's a very healthy thing to do. Well, with that, you know the old saying, go cold or go home. So we'll go with that. <laughs> so it's good, funny. you guys. I'm gonna